Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yeah, so here's our space station. And uh, I also have to say, yeah, um, the whole space shuttle thing yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, yeah, so I was like, in my mind, I kind of was like, yeah, well, maybe I should build like a space shuttle or something like that, you know, to do kind of like a... Uh, you know, a, a launch or something like that, and, uh, yeah, I just had a lot of problems building one, and I wanted to build it to look like an actual, uh, like an actual space station, and, I mean, not a space station, but, uh, a space shuttle, and, uh, it didn't really come out that well, like, I kind of, was messing around with it. I got something, a few different things that kind of worked, but they just really weren't, um, you know, it was kind of junky looking, you know, it's just, I didn't really consider it to be anything that great in a sense. So I was just like, yeah, I might as well not do this. But what I did do that I thought was really cool was, uh, I ended up making a solar powered, um, aircraft and it had six engines on it it was like insane the only thing i wanted to do with it and i wanted to see if it was possible is to take off and go all the way up into space from launch pad base or i mean well from the runway uh i didn't record any of it because i just basically was you know messing around and um yeah, you know, it just wasn't, like, a great episode for me. You know, I just kind of was like, yeah, this isn't going to be anything that great, in a sense. So, yeah. Um, you know, I'm just surprised with this whole, um, you know, with the whole s space shuttle thing and everything that, like, you know, it's kind of sad, in a sense, that, like, as being one of the countries in the world that has space shuttles and, you know, everything else. It's just that, like, we barely, you know, it, it, like, it's not even in commission anymore. It's decommissioned. I know that they're building another one and they're going to make a, a new, more extravagant one or something along those lines. But it's just kind of sad that, like, you know, as a nation the interest in space is almost completely gone. It's, you know, I mean, you got, between all of us and, you know, me playing and a lot of other YouTubers that play, and it, it's, but, it, like, when you look at it in a large scale, I mean, it just seems like the overall interest in space is, like, completely gone. You know, you look at back at, like, the Kennedy days where, you know, launching you know, just launching a rocket, like, you had hundreds and thousands of people just, like, people who had nothing to even really do with the space program in any way, and just people were celebrating it throughout the world, and it, now it's just kind of like a joke, in a sense, like, nobody even really cares. Um, not that, like, bothers me, but in the same sense as if you look at, you know, I, I've watched a lot of documentaries on the space shuttles and the Apollo missions and just all the probes and everything that um, we've launched, and uh, it's just kind of amazing when you think about how much technology that we've just, like, how much it's excelled at, like, everything. Uh, and it all has to do with the fact that, you know, some guy had a crazy idea to go to the moon. And it's just, uh, you know, like when people take so much of these technologies that we have nowadays for granted, in a sense, that, like, oh, we, we would have developed it eventually, it's not a big deal. Um, you know, building space stations and going to space isn't even worth it, there's nothing out there, and, you know, like, they've been talking about, um, you know, I've been, they were talking about the moon itself, 
has helium three on it or something and that um you know like one ton of it could power like you know the entire united states let's say for a whole year now something like that i mean you're just breaking through on even better technologies and you know you have to look at all the stuff even though going there and getting it might be the easy part in a sense let's say um you know you got all these technologies and all these people and thousands of people involved just to you know go to the moon and get something like that to do something like that and it's just absolutely amazing to me how a lot of people just don't really seem to care so much for that kind of thing well where are we going yeah I think I'm gonna turn off the uh, this SAS is just causing lots of problems uh, so I need to reset my target I like docking this way guys and I know a lot of you guys are like use chase cam I used it once okay give me a break and I didn't really care so much for it it wasn't my thing I don't swing that way but you know maybe one day one day I shall maybe try uh, it's it's not that great of a you know it's not that much different in a sense I mean sure I just swung past my target by a lot but it really didn't change much for me when I used it the first time I kinda was just like oh okay yeah this is a little bit easier but yeah anyways back to the space rant I guess <laughs> um, no to me it's just a little bit of a you know a bit of amazement of, of all the stuff we've done I do not want to dock that there all the stuff we've done and yet like there's people out there that just don't seem to have any interest or care about it in a sense it, it's just kind of disgusting a little bit you know I you know you you show this to somebody you know even this program itself this game you know you imagine giving this to the uh you know the original apollo team or like you know when they were in um project mercury or you know or in gemini i mean they would have freaked out like just the concept and the idea of everything that can be done in this game you know you can relate it all to our space our, our own space program and you know a lot of people that play this game i know have the same kind of dream as me is one day being able to go to space that would be probably the ultimate thing for most of us you know to, to actually get in, even just to get into orbit now i'm not talking about going to a planet or visiting you know some crazy celestial body out in the real far depths of the solar system i'm just talking about going getting into you know some kind of a craft like you know how um what is it virgin mobile the virgin galactic they have their uh i'm just gonna do it. i'm gonna try this with sas again whatever <laughs> too many problems i just want to get this thing docked up um you have uh virgin mobile with virgin galactic and uh whatever virgin they got their little space program thing set up and i'm not knocking it in any way don't get me wrong but uh i just think it's you know like the future of space is going to be through commercial bodies it's not even like that's the part that's kind of funny to me like it's not that i'm saying government should have their role in it but you know we got to the moon through the government in a sense and I'm not saying that the government should have control or shouldn't. I'm not too big on political, uh, you know, talking politically about things because it tends to make people angry. And, uh, yeah, so I generally try to stay away from that subject, like, like it's, uh, poison. So, uh, but, you know, I'm not going to say the government should or shouldn't have their hands in it, but... If anything, they should be, um, you know, 
helping oh god no 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 um they should be at least helping you know these smaller companies who are trying to get into space and they should be trying to uh assist them better in doing so in if they were to do that i bet that the commercial race for space probably would be and i'm not saying helping just any one company i'm saying helping them all not just you know virgin or any of them just helping them in general all of them and i think the commercial race for space would probably be a great success if anything and it wouldn't just be a footnote on uh history if you know nothing actually ever comes of it Ooh, i think i just hit it i just done hit it hopefully i didn't knock anything off that wouldn't been good oh god this is this is like my other episode it's like I'm dancing around this port. I'm trying to dock up. Um, but yeah, I, I think everyone should have their equal part in it. And to not just shy away from it. Like, um, you know, our future is there. That's, that's our future there. It's not on this planet. It's not you know, um, some other, some other, you know, continent or, you know, that our major part of our history and our future is going to be involved with space. So there's no point in, uh, you know, in a sense, denying it. It's kind of silly in a sense. I am not doing well at this whole docking thing this episode. Um, considering this is one of my first things of the day, and usually... Oh, God. Considering this is the first thing I'm doing today, I'm probably not going to do so well at it. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the first thing I've done today, guys. Give me a break. I haven't even, like, I literally woke up a few hours ago, I had to get a few errands done, and, uh, yeah, docking right after I get home definitely wasn't the best idea I've ever had, but, I've definitely had better ideas, <laughs> um, come on. Duck up. It's like right there, but it's like no, no, I, 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 no, I, I don't want to. No. There we go. Now that's sexy. I don't care what anyone says. That is just sexy. If there was sex appeal in this game, that would be it right there. Docking. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> um. Yeah, don't don't even go to uh, Urban Dictionary or any of those places to look what what docking is. Please don't. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyways, guys, we have their second uh, panel system uh, set up, hooked up, <laughs> and uh, I, I plan on I'm gonna end up rotating this again. I I think I'll do it right now. I had I'm just gonna F, was it F five? Yeah. I'm just gonna save it and uh, I'll show you what I do just to line these up a little bit better because uh, sometimes it's a little bit crazy and it doesn't work that well so I usually go into uh, I'll end up speeding it up basically because what that will do is it will just completely stop all movement on your craft um, in any direction and it just kinda makes it very stationary in a sense and then I'll undock, I'll switch over, and uh, these panels, like, are not exactly the best. I should have, 
I should have extended one of them. I think I'll just do that right now. Because then it gives you a better... Uh, and you try to line it up with the inside of the docking port. Oh, that's going to really help. Um, so that seems alright to me. Um, if anything, I'll go and change it again on a later mission. And then you just actually turn off SAS. And then you want to reverse. And then just go forward. And then just kind of slow yourself down a little bit. There we go. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and um, I'll uh, have another episode up for you, maybe later on today, some other time. Um, but if you like what you see here, definitely tune in. There's more to come, and uh, I'll see you next time.